So, Bernard, now the final step in Azure, right? <laughs> yes, so um, step number eight, we create the workspace. Uh, so it's the final AVD component we need to do in order to publish it to the user. So this will be it. Um, and it sort of you know, ties together what we have created before um, and sort of gives the user the possibility to see something um, on their client. So create the workspace artifact in the resource group. Um, how did we name it? It was VE. Europe. Best yeah. Europe, yeah. Make sure that, you know that the location um, is in the same geography as the other resources. Otherwise, you would end up having a workspace trying to add other things into it, and you don't see them, right? So they need to be in the same uh, in the same geo or location, right? The workspace name, I think, we agreed on AVD workspace one because it could contain Azure resources and also, um, you know, desktops that, yeah. that sit on HCI, right? So you could, you know, build up a hybrid workspace, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I think we may want to, you know, display not AVD VS1 to the users. Um, it should be something more friendly. So how would you call it? Cloud workspace or? The one and only cloud? workspace. No, oh, uh, let's, let's say. AVD workspace. AVD one. workspace one, right. And it could be, you know, organized for a specific, if you're working in an enterprise, it could be for a specific division, right? So maybe the office workers or a different, uh, another subsidiary or, you know, um, a or different a section. Oh, yeah. yeah. A different but, section of, of the users, right? Okay, so let's go to networking. Um, and we also need, as before, we need to enable public access from all networks because we do have people um, that need to go into the internet and be ex uh, able to access this workspace to see to which access they have access to. And then we also, you know, want to register the application groups in order to, you know, not having an empty workspace with no resources in there. No, we do want to add our previously created, uh, previously created uh, AVD desktop uh, application group to it. So it's a little bit odd from the uh, from the user experience. So you need to hit the plus symbol, hit select, and then you have added it. Okay, that's, I think, it advanced is you can enable diagnostics. We might do that later. Yeah, I'm lazy now. I'll omit the tags. And um, that should be really quick. And if we would now, you know, um, have already a uh, every desktop that we add now to the host pool should then be visible to the users as well so there is not not an additional step that needs to be done the only thing that we need to do now as we have done all the azure parts is to go back to on-premise and create the desktops right so um we are good for the azure resources now we are uh, concluding that video and do some more stuff yeah. on premise in the next one yeah and we will come back to azure because uh, add the host to the host pool we have to do some special things with i think certificates or something uh, how you like call a, it yeah. a but registration we'll token yeah a registration token exactly but we will do that in a later video